Ah, it's Valentine's Day, alone at last. And as is the tradition of Valentine's Day here on our channel, we like to take a look into a special part of the anime that we all love known as Pokemon Boating, where we find which partner is the best of all time for Ash Ketchum to date. We may have had a topic on reasons why Ash and Misty should date, but what about the reasons why they will date? We made two videos for Serena, and as the tension is high between these two characters with everyone else falling slightly behind, it's time to add a little more depth to Misty's story and why she and Ash will, not just should, date. Number 10. One of the main reasons that Ash and Misty have a bond throughout all time is because she always manages to come back to Ash. Yeah, maybe there were some seasons where she didn't appear, but if she didn't appear, she was at least mentioned. In Diamond and Pearl and Black and White, she was either referenced or in a flashback, even if her character didn't show up. And that's like Ash daydreaming. Besides those two series, she showed up in every other series besides Kalos. Wonder why? And managed to even show up in Sun and Moon. Where was Serena? Serena was only one season away, Misty started in the first, that's six whole seasons to travel from the Generation 1 starting point all the way to Alola. With the amount of times Misty has always come back to Ash, and being the partner to Ash who has the most memories alongside him, besides Brock, it not only shows how Misty could always be there for Ash, but also, if they need to be apart for just a little bit, this shows that they could even handle a long distance relationship. Number 9 Misty is known as the water type gym leader, as well as just your day to day water trainer. This is a sign of commitment to a type, and something that would lead into a wonderful pairing of these two characters. Seeing as Misty doesn't try to set a different course from catching only water Pokemon, besides Togepi, her child, she is a master of committing and a specialist who would stick with Ash no matter what. She even had to deal with how crazy her Psyduck was. There's no way she can't handle Ash. Number 8. My last video on the reasons why Ash and Misty should date got flagged by YouTube system as rated D. Do you know what that means? Drug use. If you watched the whole video, not a single mention of drugs was said and I didn't even take Tylenol for the headache I was having while writing that topic. I even messaged YouTube support and they said there's nothing they can do because it's not really affecting the video. Okay. But where could YouTube system possibly see drugs in this video? I'll tell you where. Love. You know the old saying, love is a drug? Which one of the other videos I've made about dating Ash has had this label? None. Only Misty. And that's because the love between these two is so potent that the YouTube automatic AI flagging system must have seen so much love between the two that they flagged my video with that rating. Ash X Misty, certified by YouTube. Number 7. One thing that Ash has always had as he grows through each day is learning new things. While he might have always been oblivious to those that loved him, with a new partner like Go, it'll definitely add a new layer to Ash's personality that'll grow his character towards a girlfriend. Go catches everything he sees. A new Pokemon appears, he's already thrown his ball at it. There's not even a chance he gets away without Go at least trying. And if Ash is around this guy all the time, don't you think he might learn a thing or two? If you're around someone who's going to more often than not just take the plunge every time something new shows up, that's gonna rub off on you. With just a little marination from Go's philosophy, it's likely that Ash will see this and come to terms with the idea of catching someone and dating them. This is not specific to Misty in any way, but with her being the most likely character to return, and Ash with this new superpower taught to him by Uncle Go, he'll likely be married before he beats Leon. Number 6. Speaking of Go, with that last section, we were talking about a general sense of Go's capabilities that weren't specific to Ash and Misty being together. But with Go, having caught a water-type legendary Pokemon, that could be foreshadowing. Go gets a Suicune, Ash gets Misty, this is layers of subliminal writing that's so deep you don't even learn it until at least grade 3. Number 5. If you haven't yet been convinced about this pairing of Ash and Misty, then we need to bring in some cold hard scientific facts. Ash is a Gemini! Now the reason we know this is because according to Takashi Shudo's anime novelizations, Ash's birthday is exactly 10 years, 10 months, and 10 days before he started his journey in the anime. That not only makes him almost 11 in the first episode, and the most recent episode that aired, 
It also makes his birthday May 22nd, and of course, a Gemini. One of Gemini's soul matching signs is an Aquarius. Hmm? Hmm? Water? Now we don't know Misty's confirmed birthday, because I did two Google searches and there was nothing so I gave up, but it's likely that the writers would make a water type gym leader born as an Aquarius. Even if that isn't the case, we also have the saying, April showers bring May flowers. Geminis also go well with Aries, and Aries is about 65% of April. So there's this high chance that Misty is a compatible sign. Aries' ruling planet is also Mars, and you know what we found on Mars? Water. It also says here, on this clearly approved site I'm using, that the romantic relationships of an Aries and a Gemini is like a well-written adventure story. Okay, so that's nothing like Pokemon, so I didn't even need to read that. Tauros apparently sucks with Gemini, but that's less than a coin flip to even get in April with it only being 30% of the days. And if April showers, where Misty could be born, brings May flowers, the month that Ash is born, it just describes how well their relationship could be when they date as she nurtures the flower that is Ash as the soulmates they are. Number 4 As Pokemon Journeys is currently ongoing, it would be nice to look at the order of regions that Ash went through, seeing as he's visiting all of them. Of course he's going to start in Kanto when they're showing the beginning of his adventure, but guess what? He goes back to Kanto multiple times before ever touching base in Kalos. Like I said, Serena and Misty are in a high tension battle here, but Ash always seems to return back to Kanto. Just showing you a little bit of where his priorities lie. Number 3. Misty has released a Pokemon. That's not an indication of her releasing anyone, although Ash's constant releasing might be a red flag. However, with Misty, releasing someone as close to her as her Togetic shows the length she will go through to make sure someone has a good life. This also doesn't mean she's going to release Ash, but it shows the hard times and decisions Misty has had to face that would make her a good partner for Ash and one that would look after his needs, even if it means some sacrifice without just giving up on him. And after his commitment throughout the regions and him finally becoming victorious, he would for sure return the favor like the never giving up trainer he is. This just makes them go well together. Number 2. She's a gym leader. That's some status. You know, that sounds pretty beneficial. Maybe a power couple. Ash is a champion now, Misty is a gym leader. She probably owns some property, can take the land rights away from her sisters now that she's in charge, and can sell it to go retire on a peanut farm somewhere with Ash. That sounds like a great endgame. Ash goes through Pokemon journeys, becomes victorious, meets up with Misty, they create their own botanical garden and retire. It also means that Misty has leadership capabilities. She can lead the relationship into a good direction, while Ash polishes his trophies for the ninth time this day. Overall, if there's anyone who can match a now new champion, it's the gym leader who's dealt with three older sisters. Number 1. We did talk about Misty always showing up, and in Pokemon Journeys, you can clearly see Misty's silhouette when talking about all the gym leaders in Kanto. She's the first one to show up out of every one of Ash's partners. I don't see May or Serena there, it makes Misty the most likely character to return to this series over any, which I'm not saying is a high chance, but I am saying is the highest chance so far for Ash to bump into. Always being there as the first person to show up, always being the first person to pop into Ash's mind, it goes without saying that Ash and Misty, who've been there since the beginning with each other, might make it to the top as the Pokemon boat when it comes to who will Ash date. And these are the 10 reasons why Ash and Misty will date. Oh, I'm almost done with all of these, just a few more years.